Okay, I just want to cover some things real quick. Um, this is the uh, scope cam adapter that you get from Tines Up. T i n e s u p dot com. Um, they sell these on there. They're they're a great product. Uh, you can put on your own, you know whatever camera you want, or they sell a camera kit already set up for you. Um, I had them just put this ring on this camera for me. It won't charge me very much at all. I mean, I can buy multiple rings, put them on multiple cameras, and then you just have this adapter that fits your specific spotting scope. In this case, is for the Miopta S282. Um, and if they have a whole list of scopes that they already have the sizes for and have these made. Um, but if you have an odd scope that for some reason they don't have, just call them up, tell them the measurements, or they can get the measurements of your eyepiece and they'll mill one out for you. You know, just throw it on their way, mill it out, and get it sent to you with full setup. They have one for your smartphone that I believe is a smaller ring so that you know it's not so big on your phone case and this tapers down you know or narrows down to fit on the smaller ring you know the ones that go on your on your phone they're closer because they don't have the zoom that these do anyway they have the setup for phones or for cameras um, whatever you prefer and you know, I don't know if you can tell when I took that off but it, it is snug it's a perfect fit so there's no loose wobbling your camera's not gonna fall off when you're in the middle of stuff um, I put my camera on upside down but oh well. anyway that that's an awesome setup and everything I want to talk about another setup I have that eliminates the hassle of having to get your scope out and set up on something get your camera hooked up and turn on the camera and try to take pictures through your scope and all the multiple focusing and it's this um, granted, I, that's awesome I always I use that a lot too but this is a one and done you just point and shoot and i don't always use this on a tripod i actually will rest it on my knee while i'm sitting on the hill and zoom in and i get pretty good pictures with that but if i can throw it on my shooting sticks or you know my trigger stick or my uh um tripod this thing is amazing um I'll take this lens off so i can show you this lens cover it has a 65x optical zoom and it's the uh, SX60HS and you don't put any additional lenses on this, this isn't a, like a deal, it isn't a DSLR, it's a one and done, kind of an all in one unit, whatever you call it, but it's, I don't know why I said one and done, <laughs> I'm tired, I'm an all in one, but I will have to show you during the day what I can see you know what I can see with this when I zoom in I've got um, pictures of the or video of the moon all attached to this video to show you because it's night time right now but I I am not real familiar with the difference between power like as far as 65x on this 65 power versus 65 power on a spotting scope because in my eyes, this zooms in with the optical going to 65. And granted, it goes beyond the 65x optical zoom. It goes, you know, to 140 or I can't remember what digital. But it doesn't feel like to me that it's the same as doing that. You know, looking at 65x on my scope. 65x on my scope seems bigger and closer. And maybe that's just because it's a better quality optic and it's a sharper image but to me the equivalent of that camera at 65x is about the same as right there like 30 30 at most 30 to 35 X I don't know probably 30 and I don't know if that's just my mind or if there is an actual difference between the, the power because you know <laughs> one power on that camera versus 65 power on that camera isn't the same as 20 time, you know, 20 power on a spotting scope because this is literally 20 times larger than what you're normally seeing. Whereas on my camera, 1x power is smaller than what my eyes see. So I don't know what the 65 power is on that as far as compared to the power on this. But if I were to
to guess, get my best guess, it'd be 30 at most. But that's still pretty impressive. Um, we've zoomed in on elk that were over 900 yards away and could see every point on them. In fact, this bull is one of them that we got on film. My dad has the year before of this camera, which goes to 55x optical. But we knew it was the same bull, and we were just using that camera, and the bull was 900 yards away. Um, this set is like a 360-something, 365-ish, and it would have been a lot better if that fifth wasn't 7 inches long, if it had been the same as the other side. But the next year, he's actually 7x7. Seven seven. He had a, another point back here, and then on this point, he had a point there, and this was up, you know, 15 inches, and this was even bigger. Everything was quite a bit bigger on him. I'll quit rambling about horns. These are some of our keepers sold off the smaller stuff, but yeah, wanted to cover that and talk about that camera. It's the uh, oh, I'm kicking things. It's the sorry if it's wiggly. PowerShot SX60 HS, and I think you can get it for around four hundred dollars, and it's worth every penny. Um, <laughs> I love these Pelican cases. I had one with my other camera. I left it on the fender of our trailer and it didn't come off till we were going 65 miles an hour going down the highway. And the person behind us said they watched it bounce and skip down the road and bounce up over a fence and out into the field. And it broke off a few little pieces of like the flanges and things here and there on it of the case. And when I opened it up, the camera wasn't sitting nice and snug like that it was twisted on an angle but in the same spot like just wedged in there nothing broken on it everything worked just fine um, I swear by these because I can slap that on my four-wheeler throw a strap across it crank it down not worry about it breaking it um, this is the 2075 if you're looking at what one to order for that camera it fits it really well we got the double layers of foam. Gives it plenty of room. Um, I don't know how much more foam I have down there below this layer, but these are awesome. Like I said, I Pelican cases are worth worth every penny, and they're not that much money. I think this one was like 30, 35 bucks. But yeah, just wanted to share that. That to me is as important as taking my binoculars when we go looking for animals. I don't take it when I go looking for shed antlers, but when I'm looking and scouting and I want to show somebody what I've seen, like when we went down to Henry's looking for deer, I can just pull it out, snap a picture, and be done. I don't have to get the whole set up and hooked up and everything. I've, I've like I said, I've rested on my knee and I get plenty of good shots. They're not blurry. And it zooms in like you wouldn't believe. I'll do a daytime video sometime to show you. But yeah, so you have to excuse the mess. We're in the middle of packing and got things piled everywhere because we're moving but yeah I will quit rambling and you know have a good night okay so this is my uh, Canon camera I was talking about Whoop. and this is in it zoomed up on the moon but it goes to 65x optical zoom which is right there. And that's pretty good. I, I'll have to do some video during the day to show you just how far it really zooms in on things when you're looking at wildlife and stuff like that. Um, like I said, it's, it's every bit as important as the binoculars and spotting scope that I carry. Um, that's digital zoom, but that's still pretty good for what it, what it is. Oh, come on, focus. I do have a little bit of trouble with it, trying to focus on such a bright object in the dark sky, obviously, and I don't know the settings to put it on yet. I haven't messed with it enough. Let me zoom out and see what it does. Anyway. Yeah, so it's impressive what it can do. Let me zoom out. And that's all the way back to normal.